Right, I've literally just taken these out of the packet. So I need to test them. I need to connect the Arduino Mega with the 8 channel relay board. Make sure each one of the relays turns on and turns off. This, on the relay board, you can see these phallic looking prongs that are male connectors. On the Arduino board, they're holes, female connectors. So I've got jumper cables, male to male, male to female. So I'm going to need these two that fit together as, oh, like that. <laughs> the male to male ones, a little bit gay. So I'll connect that up. Eight jumper cables and I've connected them to pins 31, 33, 35, 37, 39, 41, 33 and 45. Each one of those goes to input 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 for the relay board. Red cable here from VCC going to 5 volts out of the Arduino and then ground cable going to ground on the Arduino. My USB is plugged in. I just need to plug this into the computer and then write the code. So we'll open the Arduino program and then here we have the sketch. Uh, all this in grey here, in grey. Anything after the forward slash is not program, it's not sketch, it's not read by the Arduino. That's just for me to know what it does. Um, so if I open it in the future, I can see exactly what this does and understand it uh, without reading it in detail. The actual sketch is from here. So we're telling, the first thing we're doing is telling the Arduino that pin 31, pin 31 is now called Relay 1. So we've given it a name, do this for all eight. Then we're going to tell the Arduino, now we've given pin 31 a name, so it's not pin 31 anymore, it's Relay 1. Relay 1 is an output. So we can make that high or low, we can turn it on or off. Do that for all eight. And then tell, uh, so that's, that's the initial setup. So when you start the Arduino, it's going to read that and understand what it's got to do. Then it will go into the loop. And it will start off with uh, digital write relay one. High means means on, so it's going it to give power to that output, which will turn the relay on and turn the light on when I'm, when we have lights attached. Delay a thousand milliseconds, which is one second. So turn it on. Wait a second. Then digital write relay one low. Turn it off. Wait a second. Then it goes to relay two. Turn it on, wait a second, relay two, turn it off. So I'll do this for all eight. When it gets to the end of this, it's going to hit this and then go back up to the top and, and redo it. So we'll just get an endless loop of the eight relays being turned on, off, on, off, uh, one second intervals. You, once you've written the code, you can verify just to make sure there's no anything that conflicts so everything's good, it makes sense to the, the computer so it tells you the size we can then upload that to the Arduino and see if it works so everything's connected, the Arduino Mega's working the 8 channel relay board's working and the sketch is working just not as I expected it all the relays are on and then when they get the high voltage from the Arduino they turn off so obviously they take a low voltage rather than a high voltage no problem can change the sketch um, but at least I know they work and the program or well, the sketch works so the next video will be putting lights on the relays and looking at a timer I had a look online and found out that the 8 channel relay boards are what's called active low. So they take, as I said before, they take a low signal to turn them on. There's a reason for it, so that when you start them up, 
um, everything doesn't turn on, so it's like a, um, you know, to prevent all the, your devices coming on when, when the board starts. So I found some example codes and, and basically changed them, so I've named the, the, the Relay 1, Relay 2 into the pins, and I've also defined a Relay on and a Relay off command, so when I want it on, it, it should be zero, and when I want it off, it should be one. Um, the rest of it's pretty much the same as the same as before. Um, so I'll upload this one and check that. So this is plugged in, and there we go. So they're all off, and then they come on for one second, waits a second, turns the next one on. So that's it for this video. I'll Next I'll start working on um, putting some some lights onto it and then I can to see if the infrared can turn them on the remote control.